So we now have about 50 holes in the floor, possibly more, from where the old plywood was screwed through. So in this video, we're gonna fill those and treat them to hopefully stop some rust coming in the future. Yep, and then after that, we're gonna move on to putting some sound deadening all on the inside of the van, nice. uh, just to dampen any noises. So I'm looking forward to that. Back in the van today, raining outside, but we're not it's getting wet. Probably here. <laughs> so the reason we're going through and prepping all the holes on the wall, even though they're going to be covered up, um, is because of this. So this is the worst one we've got, I think. But this is uh, where one of the holes has been drilled. It's just starting to rust around the edge. There's another one here. Um, yeah, that one's not as bad. Um, for some reason, this one's particularly bad, which is interesting. But yeah, it's really bird metal there. It's really sharp to touch. So we're just stripping that back and then we can paint around that and just make it nicer. Hopefully we'll just stop some rust coming from these holes. The extent of our rust on our van at least is basically limited to small patches Spots. like that from what we've seen anyway. So we're pretty lucky on that front. It's quite a new van, it's only from 2017. So that's pretty good. So while I've been hoovering out the rest of the just filings and bits everywhere, Abby's been starting to fill in the holes in the floor using the steel stick, which looks like it's going pretty well. You can see all this nice filled in floor here. Looks pretty good actually. Not too bad. Just got to blend these together now. 20 minutes and that's basically rock solid. So it's all for now. You can sand it or do whatever you want with it basically. The one slight issue today is it says to use in a well-ventilated space. So even though it's raining, having to periodically open the sliding door, because it does fume a bit. Just pressing it in. It's a bit like a blue tap, really. And then just making it as flush as I can with the rest of the van. Nice. Hole. Right down there. <laughs> got quite a lot, I just realised. Taking loads. Uh, <laughs> You've got to use this quickly. Expensive, Timothy. It's set like a rock. <laughs> In uh, seconds, we'd say. Not seconds, like a minute or so. You can see the gravel under there? Not for long. Plugged. We're in our living room having a cup of tea. <laughs> you can call it that. It's basically where it's going to go, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much, I would have thought. Just maybe not quite so low and hard. We were just thinking that yesterday we were in our room and we've got quite a few deliveries in there at the moment. Two big boxes of insulation and lots of random other bits that are going to go in the van. And we're walking around just going, oh man. There's just no space anywhere, we need more space. And then just sitting here thinking, wait a minute. <laughs> this entire van is probably less than half of the space of the room we're in the moment. Morning. Morning. Nice blue sky for a change. It's looking good out there actually. Today, we're gonna see what happens when we send these little black steel stick things that we did yesterday. Our new Dalmatian floor. Yeah. Um, and if it's a pain in the ass, then we're going to sack it off and um, we're going to get on with the uh, painting, yep. the red so oxide. So we've just been experimenting with sanding the steel stick down um, and I think it's going to work quite nicely. And that's just now not completely flush but much much flusher than it was and smooth at least to run your finger over, whereas these ones are really hard and sharp. Um, so I think we've decided I think I've convinced Abby that it's worth it to just go through and smooth them all out. It won't take too long, it's just a couple of minutes max per thingy, per hole, and then it'll just, we'll just know it's that much nicer inside. Oh. Okay. 
here. So just got to do that. Gotta do that another 50 times. I think it'll be worth it. Uh, we're just carrying on with the van and this has just come over the top and uh, it's thunder and lightning at the moment and it's the 19th of December which is ridiculous it's not like it's the middle of summer but I think we're gonna get um, pulled on in a minute anyway back to the van I just tried to blow but I'm wearing a mask <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's not that's gonna do anything not working. Tim's managed to find this sort of grindstone attachment which is uh, sanding down these Steel stick blobs. It's amazing. Much quicker than sandpaper on its own. So that's a bonus. So much faster. You definitely got to have the right tool for the job. Really nice and flush there now. Yeah, it's looking really good. Glide across it. <laughs> that is one nice smooth one. <laughs> it's not working. It's very red. <laughs> right, we're not going to regret this. Abby has been going along and filling in all those gaps with some red oxide. Well, we're most likely going to be panelling this, aren't we? So. Yeah. We finally finished going around and we've done the red oxide on the ceilings and the floor. No, sorry, not the floor, the walls. Yeah. The only thing left now is to get back in and red oxide from there on the bulkhead down to here and then all of this part will be done. <laughs> Which hopefully won't take very long because I'm a bit tired now. <laughs> Abby needs to drink I think after this. Yeah, I do. But yeah, it's looking Something good. Strong. Right. Finished. I'm so cold. <laughs> we uh, oh, we lights go. come back on. Yeah, we uh, I think we've run the uh, battery down on the van, so the lights went off after a few seconds, which is a bit annoying. And we can't start it anymore. It came up with some what's the error it came up with? Oh, belt winder or something, or yeah. belt winder is not working, which we had to look up. It's something to do with the seat belts. We <sighs> think it's just because the battery's gone, but still had enough <laughs> charge left. Maybe it's a bad idea, but we've used the last bit of charge just to light it so we can do this. So, so it will dry overnight and then yeah. hammer it tomorrow. Just wanted to get it done. And now we've got to trickle charge the battery. Yeah. So hopefully that will all be back in ready tomorrow working. I'm going to go inside. I'm really, really cold. <laughs> that piece of bit cold. So as you can see, it now looks like a bit of a bloodbath in here, but it's all dry. So we're going to go and cover it up with white hammerite today, which might take a while. <laughs> We need to go get some lunch soon, it's going to be a mad dash to the house. Let's no. so open this, see how, how bad it is. Straight down. Ugh. Pretty grim out there. Last few little blobs of red to cover up. I think it's been worthwhile doing this. Yeah, it's kind of just back breaking, bending down on it. And I kept forgetting which bits I'd done, stepping on it from socks. <laughs> <laughs> and we're done. That's it. Time to 
Yeah, I'm hungry now. Maybe a cup of tea. <sighs> we finally finished all the prep. <sighs> That's I'm so it. sick of this now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sick of painting. Um, but we're done. We've done another layer and it's looking a lot better. On the doors, it's looking nice and uh, white. All the patchy areas have gone over, so it's good. All the trim's done. We've taken everything out. Yep. And what we're going to go and do now is we're taking the van to a weigh station so we can see how much it weighs with nothing in it back to how it would have come as close as we can to the factory. Yeah. And we're doing that because we've got three and a half ton limit of the van and on our license. So we'll see what the delta is of what we actually have available to actually build. It's five to four, so we've got to go. It's five to four, we've got to go. <laughs> when we do the end of the conversion, we'll take it there again and just check that we're in weight. So we are here at the weigh station and we're just weighing our empty van. On that plate there. So here we go, we've just had our van weighed and the weight on the scales was 2,360 kilograms. We've got 3,500 to play with, that's the max um, gross vehicle mass of the van, plus it's also the max that we can drive on a license. So we've got uh, basically 1,140 kilograms to play with. It's snowing and kind of hailing as well. <laughs> Obviously it snowed overnight as you can see, very pretty. That was a bit nice. I don't think this weather really knows what it wants to do, to be honest. There's blue sky over there. You've got it in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that nice clean van. Nice clean van. Yeah. Snow hair. What more could you ask for? Get Oops, it over me. <laughs> <laughs> so today we are going to be doing the sand deadening for our van. Um, quite an important step because it just basically stops that kind of noise, it dampens that noise. So we've got it here as a roll, it's like a self-adhesive roll that you just cut up, you peel it off and you stick it on. All right, so first step, let's get it out of the box. We're just easier said than done. Oh my God. Pretty heavy, this stuff. Hey. I thought you were just gonna drop it down. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. So Abby's just cutting out some pieces with the standing knife cuts really nice and actually there's a one centimeter grid on the back which makes it really easy yeah it's after Christmas I thought I'd done all my wrapping this year <laughs> so we've got three panels on now done uh, one thing that really confused me about the stuff when we saw other people using it was that it doesn't go all the way to the edge Got really confused about that. I was like, how is it going to work when it's only a tiny piece? But it only needs to do 30 to 50% coverage of the panel. It's basically just really heavy and just weighs the panel down so that when there's vibrations, they stop dead, which is why it's called a dead mat. So getting there, there's obviously like, there's a lot of panel here, which is all kind of connected, but compare the difference on this one, it's just more of a dead thudding sound. Um, yeah, so it's going well, keep going. It's quite satisfying stuff to use. Yeah. Looks pretty cool, like a little mini spaceship starting mm -hmm. to form. Right, on to the next. So I'm just uh, warming up the pieces before we put them on because on the box it says ideally it should be about 10 degrees in the weather. Um, it's been snowing today, so I think it's only about 2 or 3 degrees. So I think it just makes it more pliable and uh, helps the adhesive sticking a bit better. So, so one tip I've learnt when cutting the uh, dead mat with the standing knife in the van is do not cut into the van <laughs> whoops that is unfortunate i think that was the first one that i cut so uh yeah got to be careful with that <laughs> there's like a few ridges here it just went straight through it's gonna have to retreat that bit there that i sliced into oh well so as you can see we work in all weathers <laughs> Nothing's gonna stop us. <laughs> it's still doing snow Come here and help. Ah, <laughs> oh, pretty. <laughs> so I've just been trying to figure out what this is, what these are actually. We've got a few of these panels. There's one on the door there. There's another one on the back door that kind of look like 
sound deadening themselves. Um, but they're already here. But it's um, it doesn't really work like sound deadening. Not like the stuff we've got. I think I might actually just put that back and uh, leave those where they are. Worked out that Abby's a lot better at cutting this up. Years of crafting experience. Whereas I'm a lot better at sticking. She's also quite good, but I've got to do something. <laughs> so I was just about to give the ceiling a wipe and get rid of all these drops, but they're actually frozen. <laughs> and then I checked, uh, I've got a thermometer outside and one inside actually. And it's minus two outside, it's a quarter of a degree inside. That's probably just from me turning on the heat gun. So yeah, I'm gonna have to melt this ice off before we can put the um, dead mat on the roof. Chilly. <laughs> My sock warming is only working for a few minutes at a time now. Thank God for the heat gun. It's actually quite easy to put on, it's going quite nice. We've basically done all of the uh, walls now, all the way down. It's looking pretty good. Uh, you might be wondering why we've left this bit open here and put these further down. That's because here we're going to have our window. Uh, we're going to have a window there on that side and swing round onto this side. So those bits there will be a window cut out and then also big window here. So we haven't put anything on here because this is literally going to be cut out. So still just normal and then here more of a thud and we also haven't done the door yet but it's getting very cold so we've decided we're going to leave that for another day well yeah this will probably be our last video of 2020 That's happy right. new year it is new year's eve good riddance to this year it's new year's eve so we're just finishing up doing some uh, sound deadening obviously hopefully we'll get the van finished and uh, we'll be able to actually travel around and experience some warmer climates. I can't see the end yet. Although we were thinking one of the first places we might go is Norway, so maybe not. <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see. So this is how much hex mat we've got left. And we're yet to do most of the ceiling. Hey Tim, what are you up to? I'm drying the ceiling. I first heated the ceiling to melt the slushy eyes. Oh wow. Getting all these bugs off. There's so much water on there. A lot of water. So if I wring this out. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's coming off each roof panel basically. It just shows you how much we do. So I, have to, I have to keep using the heat gun to dry the cloth. And we've got multiple cloths but they're all saturated already. Uh, these are just not the things you think about. Doing a van build in the winter mm. definitely takes a little bit longer. Yeah. This is how much water I've got out of about a quarter of the roof panels. <laughs> Just from wiping them down. Crazy. Nice. Giving our van a bit of character. Looks like he's got a little face now. On the doors. Hello van. Yeah, face on both doors. Hello, how are you doing? Okay, so we're coming to the last part of our sand editing now. Um, and we kind of left this till last. We didn't really want to tackle this, we so put it off. But we've got to put something behind it. We're going to have to put our insulation in there anyway. Um, so a minute ago, Tim and I tried to sort of use a heat gun to sort of peel this back um, to hopefully replace it once we were done, but it just didn't really work. I think I just melted the plastic. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. So I think what we're going to do is just carefully just craft knife around here, just flap it down, put the sand deadening in, once the insulation's in, just seal it up properly and then yeah, just see how the, how that goes really. Cool. So while Abby is wiping inside there to clean it all out, it's actually pretty clean inside, actually. It's been covered the whole time. And I'm just arranging all the offcuts we've got and try and just use up all of these bits in that door because it's quite a hard access point anyway so any small bits can we fit in really. So it might as well make use of the whole roll, we're not going to be able to use it for anything else. And then we're pretty much at the end now, that's, that's the last little bit there. Just be careful not to sit on it when it's still kind of warm because Abby's just got it on her jeans. I think the warmth from 
her bum warmed it up and it's gone everywhere. <laughs> So the sound deadening is all done. We Yay. used up the whole roll. Um, so one complete roll is on the van. We've used it everywhere. So we've got it on the side panels, a bit at the top, at the bottom. It's up here on the roof. Okay. Um, we did yeah, the floor. Not the floor, obviously. And on the um, hubcaps. Hubcaps? <laughs> we are not. Give us a like and subscribe below if you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you next time.